Hey, you guys. I just need to share this really quick. One second, and I'm going to dive into a day five. Um, so, my Facebook people, you have to wait for one second. And today we're talking about investing versus spending and plus basic cryptocurrency. So, <clears throat> if you guys are watching in the WhatsApp community, Make sure you click on the video and come over and join me on my personal live. That way I can converse with you. Otherwise, I can't see your comments because I can only see the comments on my live on Facebook. Yay! Day five of the Quantum Abundance Challenge, you guys. Today we're going to be talking about investing versus spending. Plus, I'm adding in a whole little basics on cryptocurrency so make sure you guys grab your journal um and then reach out to me after this training if you have more questions um about the the crypto um i'm still a novice teach what you learn right you guys i'm always sharing with you teach what you learn because you'll end up being an expert um if i didn't start doing that i would not be an expert in spiritual awakening or quantum um attraction or law of attraction <clears throat> and i consider myself to be today so um there's a big um misconception about spending versus investing right so um especially when you're a kind of a baby entrepreneur um or your mindset just isn't there hey sky i'm glad you're here on the live hey barbara i'm glad you're here on the live on facebook <clears throat> good morning everybody i'm still froggy um because i haven't spoke to a human yet <laughs> but uh especially with like it's either your mindset or it's a beginning entrepreneur and usually that goes hand in hand right um people look at investing like say right now i have an awesome container open it's under four thousand for the vip option it's under three thousand for the regular option and some entrepreneurs or some people will be like the fuck no i'm not investing that and then they don't invest right and then they will waste twenty thousand dollars and be miserable for the next several years because they saw it as spending money they saw it as letting go of something and it never comes back uh, so that's the big 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 mindset shift for you guys on investing versus spending is something coming back is there an opportunity to come back and also want to talk about your intention behind making an investment right what is your intention because i have i've been in this online space for a while and i've had people throw money at me and then not do the work or throw money at me and just be like thinking in their head, okay, I gave you the money, therefore the transformation is going to happen. But it, it was more based on um, a fear base, like, oh, thank God, here, take my money. No, it, it you have to fit, have the intention of I'm giving this money because, fuck, yeah, I'm going to get what it is that I want on the other side. And then you're having more of a positive intention as you're making that investment, right? Um, so if there is any advice <laughs> that I could give to any any entrepreneur out there or even somebody that maybe um, is just really having a shit storm of a life is invest in yourself right invest in a life coach invest in a trauma coach invest in a business coach invest in a mindset coach because otherwise all you have is all you have is all you have right and we talked about being a robot a couple days ago like you're never gonna not be who you are and never not have what you don't have you know what i mean unless you have new perception coming in um, so invest 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 now versus spending so and i want to talk about this for a second because some of you guys will be like what so let's talk about a nice pair of shoes, right? Um, a lot of people would say that's spending and sometimes it is spending, right? But how does that new pair of shoes make you feel? Now you have to have discipline here because you could say, look how cute my cute shirt that just came today. I'm so excited. It makes me feel sexy and cute. 
right? Um, but you have to have discipline. Am I having so much of this and not enough of something else that's going to bring me a re return in investment, right? Are you like going out to eat all the time? Are you going, um, are you spending all your money on those things? And then your business is still failing. You know what I mean? Um, then you got to take a look at what am I spending or investing on? And is there a return, right? Are you just always feeling really good in your shoes and your shirt and going out with your friends and then behind the scenes, you're crying in your pillow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so you have to ask yourself that. So yes, sometimes investing and sometimes spending money on clothes because of the return on investment it does for you, because I'm all about don't be wearing holy wine stained clothes because it actually has something to do with your frequency, right? Um, <clears throat> just really finding that balance. But the biggest, the biggest thing about investing is making sure that you have the right intention when you do it making sure you realize that the reason why you're giving the money away is because you are intending to become a different version of yourself. And therefore this other more massive abundance will come in. Right. Um, yeah. So, and that's the thing too, the thing too is like Sky saying she spent too much um, money eating out and at the bar last year. And if you add it up and it adds up to 20 G's and you turn down an investment to work with a business coach five times, then you're doing yourself a major disservice and you got to sleep in your own bed. Right. Um, versus investing in that business coach or trauma coach or whatever. I'm all about all the work um, and living a better life or make receiving more abundance and helping other people through your business, which is your medium, which is your gift. Right. So that's kind of the tips I wanted to give you on investing versus spending is, are you sending it out with the intent that it's coming back, that there's more pleasure coming back and doing the work, right? Um, that's the biggest thing that ever, ever changed my business. You guys are always asking me what finally changed for you. I started fucking spending money on my business and you guys know the very first investment that we did, not the very first investment, but the first one where I was like, fuck, I I'm doing this or else I'm, it's never going to fucking change was um it was a 97 dollar investment it was 97 dollars for a year every month which was a lot to me back then um and i remember my husband dry heaving in the shower when i told him i'm doing it and we only left us was 34 dollars in the bank that day but something shifted inside me because my intention was like i'm done fucking around i'm not going to go get a real job this is my fucking business this is my future. This is my gift to this world and I deserve it. And so does everybody else on this planet. Boom. Everything changed that day. We made 2000 bucks in one day because I finally pushed the button to believe in myself. Right. I finally let go of that abundance and then immediately start investing, investing, investing. And then obviously if you guys have been watching me since 2018, it's just been a, a hell of a ride and I love it. So off on that subject, now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about cryptocurrency basics. Again, like I said, I'm a novice still. I'm still learning, darling. But I know a hell of a lot more than I did when I first started um, diving in. So we were talking about yesterday about 4% of only 4% of money is real. And that's why like cryptocurrency gets this big like negative thing because people are like, but it's not real. Okay, so not neither is your US dollars, right? Um, as a matter of fact, this will piss you off. <laughs> this will get some of you guys riled up. Is um, one of my girlfriends, I was helping her get into the crypto market and her bank said no. Her bank with her dollars, her cash earn, her cash dollars that she earned from her, her uh, you know, working for however many years she's retired now, God bless her, um, told her, no, we won't let you buy cryptocurrency. And she's like, this is my money. And they said, well, we don't care. We're not going to let you. So then I told her, this is the whole reason why I've been expressing to you to get into the crypto market because you're constantly being regulated. You're constantly being told what to do, what you can do, what you can't do with your own damn U.S. dollars. Then stop being so scared of the crypto market. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are like, it's funny money or it's fake money or it could disappear at any time. So can your cash dollars, folks. Right. Um. But when we're talking about investing, especially in something that you have no fucking clue what you're doing, go in easy. Go in and get your feet wet until you understand what's happening. When we talk about invest, we're saying it's, you know, especially in crypto because it's very volatile. It goes up 
and it goes down. It's like riding a freaking roller coaster, right? That's where, that's where I get to bring in all my spiritual work, right? That's where I get to bring in uh, quantum energy because just like when you're launching a program, right? Your money doesn't come from your client. Your money doesn't come from your business. Therefore, money comes from the universe. So even if you're taking and investing in cryptocurrency, you still, you've got to do the inner work because, right? Yes, I'm so glad I'm talking about crypto too. I love it. Um, just like when you're investing in, in the, the crypto market, you have to be centered and grounded and calling in abundance because it doesn't necessarily come from your friggin' Ethereum or your, you see all the little coins and stuff. Um, it comes from the universe. So it's so important for you to do this inner work, regardless if you're selling offers, you're doing readings, you're selling programs, you're coaching, um, or, or you're investing in cryptocurrency, right? So about cryptocurrency, like the, I'm going to try to explain it to you in the most basic way, because at least that's how I kind of understood it is, um, it is a digital currency that's starting to become more and more adopted. The number one reason I got invested was not just to make money. Yeah, everybody loves money, right? Everybody loves it to flow to them, right? Or at least most of us do. Uh, but the reason why I got in is because you guys know I'm a big ass world changing mofo, right? And there's lots of crazy ass shit going on on our planet. And there has been, and there has been for decades and decades and decades and decades and decades and decades. Um, and you guys know that I've always been super passionate about our schooling systems, about our medical systems. Um, and my big why behind helping people awaken to their spiritual abilities was always to help them come into this new awareness, come into this awareness that you're not here to just pay bills until you die. You're not here to go through this robotic uh, motions, right? My mom told me to go here and stay there and do my 401k, do this. No, fuck that. That's not living, right? So that's the number one why behind my Awaken program. Um, but it just keeps, it goes deeper because I swore to law of attraction that I would, I would master it. And then I would come around and teach other people so that, so that abundance can flow to all of us so that we can use that abundance to create change, right? When you think of like all the world leaders and everybody that says, this is how the world's going, <laughs> it is all fucked up right now. When you think about those people, how much money do they have? A fuck ton, right? So money is an energy that you get to utilize. So if you had a fuck ton of money, then what are you going to use it for? A new schooling system? So like, what do you believe in? And so that's where the reason why I got into cryptocurrency is some of these platforms are completely 100% focused on this deregulation, right? Um, decentralized so that your money is your money, right? And some of these platforms are standing for um, new medical, new uh, schooling, new this, giving the power back to the people, right? Um, right. Like, why do you want, why do most of you want money? First of all, it's for your own survival. Second of all, it's because you have kids, right? You want your kids. Third, grandchildren, generational wealth. You want them to have well-being. It's it's not because you want to sit there and be like, I got fucking money. And you don't because that's not. Money just makes you more of who you already are. So let's all get over ourselves, right? Money's not the root of all evil. Money doesn't make you greedy. Money makes you more of who you already are. Uh, <clears throat> are there people out there that are greedy? Are there people out there that are really fucking evil with their money? Yes. But guess what? There's a side to every coin, right? There's two sides to every coin. So we get to play the game too, don't we? And cryptocurrency is a fan freaking fantastic way for you to get in and create generational wealth, right? For the right intention. Remember we talked about why are you putting money out there, right? Um, so Bitcoin, let's talk about that really quick, is backed by China, is backed by, uh, was kind of created to create a cashless society was kind of created for the new world order. That all sounds sad and negative, right? It is. But just like I said, there's two sides to every coin. There's Ethereum, and that is what I'm really passionate about. ETH is what it stands for. This is a, a solid coin that is like you can almost put your money in 
and just be like, okay, go do your thing. Has it been going down and up a lot the last couple of weeks? Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. But that's the thing with cryptocurrency. It's very, it's very volatile. Now, if you're into day trading or stocks, right? Like I have some stocks in the stock market and stuff, but you know what, girl, I don't look at that shit every day. Right. Especially when like the whole election was coming on and stuff, you know, I was like, I'm not even looking or when Ronan had hit and I kept getting emails from like my stock lady and they did, they didn't look good. I was like, I'm not looking because I'm in that for the long, that for the long run too. Now, Remember when we talked about yesterday how only 4% of money is actually real. If every single person went to the bank right now and said, I want all my cash dollar dollar bills, right? If I went to my stockbroker lady and I said, just send me all of the money in dollar bills and all of you guys did it too, the whole, the whole financial system would collapse because there's no money. There's, it used to be backed by gold, right? So that we had a gold in our little fort hut or whatever you call it. You get to you get to learn from somebody that doesn't know all the words. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but where the gold used to be stored, and then we would only print as much cash as could be backed by gold. Well, that went out the fucking the window like decades ago, right? So they're just printing money. <laughs> they're just sending y'all checks that that are fake. It's fake, right? So eventually, like very likely. The banking system could collapse, right? So then your dollar dollar bills ain't there anyway, right? Um, so this is why I got into cryptocurrency. So there's different, there's so I'm gonna back up for a second. <clears throat> there's different applications on your phone that are either considered a wallet, right? A wallet, or it's actually um, what am I trying to say? Barbara, help me. <laughs> like if you're still here on the live or it's a platform, right? So, so for example, there's the crypto.com wallet, which the one that's the one I'm most familiar with is the blue lion, right? So let's talk about that one really quick. Um, <clears throat> imagine, and if you guys want a referral link, like I'll get like 25 bucks. If you haven't downloaded the app yet, um, let me know and I can send you my little link. But if not, just download the thing because I'm not here for your 25 bucks. I'm here to share knowledge with you. Um, but anyway, it's a little blue lion. So imagine you have your little blue lion and it's your little wallet. And then you open your wallet. And what do you see? You see different cards that you have. You have your debit card. You have your, you know, your, your debit card that goes to this bank. You have your credit card. You have your uh, gift card to Starbucks, <laughs> whatever it is, right? You have these different cards. So if you can imagine your different cards are actually different coins or different platforms, right? Oh, you guys are talking to each other. So cute. <clears throat> so imagine, <clears throat> excuse me, the different cards are like the little different coins that you have. But also imagine in your wallet, you're like, that's my Chase Bank card. I trust that there's money in there, right? I trust my Chase Bank card a lot more than I trust this Capital One credit card, right? because it fluctuates and I have to pay interest on this. Does that make sense? So there's certain ones that you have more trust in, that you that you have more faith that there's going to be money there all the time, right? Just if that makes sense to you, hey, Elizabeth. Um, so that's kind of the way I like to explain the different coins. So like Ethereum, like that is a main big fucking platform that I'm talking about that's going to create massive change that stands for us right? It stands for us. It gives, it gives us our power back. Um, and they're creating some amazing things in the future, right? Technology, schooling, medical. And so they're back and it's backed and, and it is backed by gold standard, which means there's only so many coins, which means as people start buying them up, what happens? Supply and demand, right? So the, the, the demand gets greater, the supply gets smaller. So what happens? The price goes up, right? So if you buy in and then the demand goes up and the supply goes down, guess what? Your your one little chunk of the pie goes goes up, right? And so then, you know, tr trading, you could buy low, sell high. But a lot of this stuff, because why are we getting involved in this? At least why what, did I get involved in it? Because this is creating change for our future. So it's not like, oh, I'm just here to make that money and get out. Fuck no, because we've been talking about money mindset all, all week, right? We're getting in to create change, right? Maybe you want to take a little out, your seed money out, as you call it. Um, so 
back to the different coins, right? Which is we're pretending like you have your wallet and your different debit cards. This is how this is how Brandoline does it with hand puppets. <laughs> I cracked myself up. But um, anyways, there's also like other little crazy coins that are constantly popping up, and we call those like meme coins, like the Doge coin, the D O G E coin. Everybody was so excited and it went up, and who knows what's going to happen with it? But those are the ones that are more volatile, right? Those are the ones that um, they could come, they could go. It could just completely collapse, right? So you're wanting to hone in on the ones that are going to be there for life, right? Or that are, you know that you just put money in and it's going to go up. It may go down, but it's going to go up, right? Or you could, or like some of these millennials and the younger folks that are like super speedy thinking, <clears throat> they're freaking smart as hell. Some of them love to play with those little coins because they're looking at their phones all the time. It is a lot of work if you get involved in a lot of the little baby coins because you got to be like, well, I put $10 in yesterday and I have 617 million Galaxium coins. <laughs> and then it went up like this really high. But then the next day it took a shit. So like the millennials are like, oh my God, they're making a hell of a ton of money, right? And I don't know if I could see all your all y'all comments on um on Facebook. And I know Jen 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 went over from Facebook to Instagram. You guys are so cute. But anyway, it's a it's a great thing to kind of get your feet in. Now I was talking to, to you guys about the crypto.com app, right? And the main coins are on there, right? So your Ethereum, your Binance, which is BNB, Cardano is on there. I have that. And then um, like Ethereum Classic. And now um, Barbara, just my girl, was messaging me last night. There's Emacs that just came out. And I guess there's a big fight um, with Mayweather or whatever. And they're, they're accepting Emacs. Like it's becoming more and more adopted. And if you guys are like me, a leader, an early adopter, uh, somebody that's going to be on the forefront of major fucking change, then it's time to get on because as soon as it becomes super adopted by everybody, then um, it's just going to be little chunks of, of money versus right now people are starting to look at it. Like my husband's like, there's a freaking debit card machine at the gas station for cryptocurrency cards. That's a big misconception too, that you can't, you can't get it out. You you can have a crypto card. I got a crypto card for my blue lion, right? Have I used it? Hell no. I am on Clubhouse, but it's um it's one of those things that I felt like people were running all over just to, to get distract myself for a second. Um and I felt like the energy was really too quick, like everybody's running it. So I felt like it was a lot of lack mindset. Yes. Thanks, son. Got us for adding mass adoption in the works. So get in now, right? <clears throat> uh, but yeah, Clubhouse, I'm on there, but I have this awesome fucking following right here. So I'm happy right here, right now. Um, but if you have somebody, um, there's cryptos. Yes, so I'm in I'm in some groups on Facebook and I have I actually have a crypto coach. So, but thanks for letting me know. Maybe, maybe message me and let me know what rooms or maybe leave them here in case somebody else is on Clubhouse and wants to join that, right? Right, you always find me. I'll you find me. Hey, that's the thing about quantum. Like, I don't have to be on all these other platforms because if I think I do, then isn't that lack, right? If I think I do, then does that mean that I feel like I'm missing a, an audience? Because I'm right fucking here. <laughs> the universe gonna be sending me exactly as long as I'm showing up, right? I can't just sit in the corner in my house <laughs> and then you guys find me. But but you know what I'm saying. Um, my intent is that you guys are finding me here. Any woozles. There's other platforms. So, for example, Coinbase or um, BitTrue. Like, I have all these apps now. Um, or Trust Wallet or Uphold Wallet, where those are different apps that are different wallets. Because why? Because, say, for example, we're talking about the Crypto Blue Lion app. App. Blue Lion app. This little lion, he doesn't have access to every coin, right? So if you're thinking about your grocery store and the certain grocery stores that you'd like to go to because they have specialty items, so to imagine a different app on your phone for different specialty coins or just specialty platforms, right? Like, <clears throat> um, 
safe moon is a big one coming out right now it's difficult to get that coin you got to jump through like 400 hoops but i did i jumped through all the hoops the reason why i jumped through all the hoops to get it is because it will become its own platform and its own wallet and it's actually already been adopted in a, a country in africa i don't remember which one gabia something um, they are moving to completely cashless and they are only going to use safe moon. So the fuck? Yeah, I got in on some safe moon. But in, in, I think in June or July is when they're going to have their own wallet. And as soon as they do, it's going to be way more accessible. So guess what? My 617 million freaking safe moon coins is going to skyrocket, right? At least that's the intent. At least that's what a lot of people are saying, right? So early adoption. But where is my safe moon? I think my safe moon's in my trust wallet. So like I had to jump through a few hoops and this is why like I'm still a novice. So I can't tell you all the things, but I do have connections to people that can. I just want to get on here as I'm learning to teach you guys and to, because I want y'all to be rich as fuck and I want you to be abundant and I want you to create change because I know all of my audience is here to create change, right? Yes, it is crazy what you have to do to get safe moon. <laughs> Uh, but we did it. <laughs> we figured it out because I feel that I feel that passionate about this change that's coming down the pike. So if you all want more information on this stuff, keep following me. I'm talking a shit ton about um, money in my brand. You guys have seen my new bio. It says something like I help biz babes heal their money story so they can get the fuck on with their life and create the impact that they ever came to be. Right. Um, yeah, so you can leave the link. Um, oh, I don't think you can leave the link on Instagram, but maybe on Facebook. Or you can message me to Jen, and then um, people could reply to my story, and I could throw the link to them too. That would be awesome um, <clears throat> for your, your clubhouse group or whatever. Or if you guys want to message me and find out about the group that I'm in, um, that, that you know it, it helps me. Um, let me know, but definitely keep following me. I want you guys to help you be super wealthy, super rich, uh, because like Chris Harder says, I don't know if you guys know who Chris Harder is, but he says, when good people make good money, they do great things. Um, and I love talking about money and it's always been this really weird thing until one day I realized that that's been my whole message this whole time. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm sending you all so much love. I hope you really loved this five-day um, quantum abundance challenge. I'm going to be still obviously talking a lot more about money. If you guys want to know how you can work with me, reach out because I have a mini mind that is a three-month coaching program, and I have a mastermind that is a six-month high-level premium experience um, that I'm launching both at the same time so that I can filter in my higher level and my my people that are ready to get up there. Um so let's do this, right? Send you all so much love. Have a beautiful Liberty or Memorial Day weekend. All right, I'll talk to you all later.